This is Grade 4, Module 1, Lesson 16, and the objective in this lesson is to solve two-step word problems using the standard subtraction algorithm fluently modeled with tape diagrams and assess the reasonableness of answers using rounding. So let's look at number one in the homework. And that reads, Zachary's final project for a college course took a semester to write and had 95,234 words. Zachary wrote 35,295 words the first month and 19,240 words the second month. Round each value to the nearest 10,000 to estimate how many words Zachary wrote during the remaining part of the semester. Okay, so let's look at what um, we have right now. So we know that his final project had 95,234 words which is rounded to the nearest 10,000 is going to be 100,000. Okay, so in the first month he wrote 35,295 words and we're rounding that to the nearest 10,000 and that's going to bring us to 40,000. Okay, and in the second month he wrote 19,000 240 words, which is about 20,000 words. So this is how much he had for the whole semester, and these two together is how much he wrote in the first month and the second month. So we want to know what he wrote during the remaining part of the semester. So we're going to have to add how much he wrote in the first month and second month and subtract it from the total amount. So it's pretty easy when you have the rounded numbers. So 40,000 plus 20,000 is 60,000. And then 100,000 uh, minus 60,000 is 40,000. So he, um, he wrote about 40,000 words for the remaining semester. So now we're going to find the exact number of words written during uh, the remaining part of the semester. So we're going to have to use the actual numbers. We're going to do the same steps, but now we have to just use the actual numbers. So we have 35,295, and we're going to be adding 19,240. And that gives us a total of 54,000. 535. So now we're going to take the total number of words, 95,234, and I'm subtracting 54,535 to get a difference of 40,699. So I can write that in a statement. So Zachary wrote 40,699 words during the remaining part of the semester. Now we're going to do homework problem number three, and that reads, a local store was having a two-week back-to-school sale. They started the sale with 36,390 notebooks. During the first week of the sale, 7,424 notebooks were sold. During the second week of the sale, 8,967 notebooks were sold. How many notebooks were left at the end of two weeks? Is your answer reasonable? Okay, so let's go ahead with our target sentence. There were blank notebooks left at the end of two weeks. Okay, so let's just um, take our numbers. So we know that the start of the sale, they had 36,390 books. And I'm going to just round that to the nearest uh, thousand. So that would be 36,000. Okay, so during the first week of sales, they sold 7,424, rounding that to the nearest thousand gives me 7,000. And second week of sales, they had 8,967, and that rounds to 9,000. So 7,000 plus 9,000 is 7,000 plus 9,000 is equal to 16,000. And the difference, so I have 36,000 minus 16,000. There should be about 20,000 notebooks left over, okay? 
So let me show you this as a tape diagram. Okay. So this tape represents all of the notebooks. So it's 36,390. So in the first week, there's 7,424 notebooks sold. In the second week, there's 8,967 notebooks sold. So we want to find out how many are remaining. So to do this with on finding the exact amount, we're going to use the numbers that were given to us in the problem, but do the same steps that we did with our um, rounded numbers. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add the first week of sales and the second week of sales. So let's do that now. And that gives us a total of 16,391 notebooks that were sold for the first two weeks of sales. So now we're going to find the difference. So 36,390 and I'm subtracting 16,391. Okay, so when I do that, I have a total of 19,999. So there was 19,999 notebooks left at the end of two weeks. So to check my answer, I could, let's just make some room here. I'm going to erase up here. I'm going to add the notebooks that were left, which is 19,999. And the notebooks they sold the first week, and the notebooks they sold the second week. And when I add these numbers together, it should give me the total number of notebooks that I started with. And it gives me a total of 36,390 notebooks to start.